like I hear someone whining upstairs. Hmm, who could that be? Just kidding, it's Luna. It's always Luna. She's a whiner. All right. Well, hey guys, welcome back. I'm Madison, and today we're talking about free pots, okay? You want free pots? I want free pots. I like free stuff, uh, just in general. Um, I'm a frugal bugle. I don't know if I've ever said that before. I feel like I have. I'm definitely uh, very frugal, especially when it comes to buying pots um, or any sort of anything at all, um, other than plants, obviously. I have a bit of an easier time. Hello, Ro. I have a bit of an easier time um, buying plants, obviously, even if they're a little bit more expensive. Um, but even then, I'm still pretty darn frugal. So if I can find a way to get cheap to free pots, you bet your butt I'm going to figure it out. And as it just so happens, happens to have it, has it, as it just so happens to, how's that saying go, bro? Whatever. I found some free pots this week and I'm super excited about it. I just cleaned them up a little bit. There's still, there's still some dirt uh, in some of these pots here, but you know, it's, they're going to have plants in them eventually. So whatever. But I was super excited to find some free pots just out on a walk with my dogs. Luckily they were fairly close to the house. Um, so it was easy for me to lug them back with the dogs. Thank God I happen to have one of those like dual leashes that just like hooks up to my waist so I was hands free so I could easily carry the four, count them, yes, four pots that I was able to score just off the side of the road. So I thought I would chat a little bit more um, about that with you guys. Why do I have my headphone in? We don't need her. But I just wanted to chat about that a little bit more with you guys, just different ways to source cheap to free pots out there in the wild yourselves, especially since we're coming into like spring and summer, nice sunny weather, at least for some of us. You know, it's time to start up potting, repotting, reorganizing, maybe some beautifying of your plant spaces. And one of the best ways to do that is with cute pots. So I want to show you the pots that I found and I want to discuss some other ways that you can find some too. So first things first, let me show you the pots that I found because I'm super excited. Two of them are like going to be little, um, what do you call them? Cash, cash pose, catch pots, a little pot to put a nursery pot into. That's my personal favorite way to use pots. I prefer pots like cute pots without drainage holes. That way I can just stick the plant in the nursery pot in it. And then I don't need another saucer. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole thing. But I found these two cuties. I just realized today when I was cleaning them up that, um, this one does have some like tarnish marks on it, but you know what? It's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of, um, rustic, you know what I'm saying? But you see what I'm talking about there. There's some, some kind of embellishments, if you will, on here. Oh, there's more over here. Um, but there is like one whole front face of it that looks still really nice, but I honestly really don't mind that. So I kind of look forward to when like the rest of the pot gets more like sort of patinaed and rusted. Um, cause I think that looks cool, but I found this little guy. This is a five inch pot. Um, it used to have a bonsai in it of some sort and the whole thing was $16, 16 dollars 16 99 So, Hey, but yeah, this little cutie scored her and it already has like little felt feet on the bottom. So that's really nice. And then I scored this one, just like a nice basic pot. I feel like it looks just like stark white on here, but it's actually a kind of an off white and it's kind of um, like pearlescent, if that makes sense, but really beautiful, nice size. It kind of like shrinks down. I'm sure we've all seen these pots everywhere. Um, nice made in Germany and free. So, I mean, okay, cool. Sounds good. Now these other two have drainage holes, but they're big and they're heavy. Like it was pretty close to the house where I found these, but not that close. It was quite a few blocks that I had to walk um, carrying these, and these two made it difficult. Um, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can pick them both up and show them to you at the same time because they're big. These guys, check it. I thought they were exactly the same. They're not. They're a little bit different. One's a little bit shorter. Um, oh, I'm getting water on them. Um, but yeah, check these out. These are freaking huge. Nice, like they were obviously used as outdoor pots because they're very dirty, which when you find free pots on the side of the road, the people will probably not have cleaned them out beforehand, but 
whatever, they're free pots and they're gonna have dirt in them either way. So awesome. This one still has a sticker in it. What does it have the price? This was $30 originally for this one. Ugh, let me set her down. This one was also $30 and they're actually by the same company. It's really tiny. The joy of gardening, I believe is what it says. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful pots. This one is just ever so slightly shorter than the other one, but they're both like kind of an off white and they have, um, they're still pretty dirty. So I don't know if I'll ever be able to get them totally clean, but I also don't really mind because it's a white ceramic pot, it's going to get kind of dirty looking eventually. And I kind of like the way that looks. It's a little bit more natural. Um, I just think it's really pretty. But it has like very fine um, little like crackle lines all over it. And I believe that is just part of the style. But you can see that better in this pot, I believe. So hopefully you can see that kind of like crackling. So pretty. What scores? I mean, holy shit. Does it say the size? I feel like it does say the size of this pot on the sticker, but I can't read it. Let me grab my phone <laughs> and I'll zoom it in so I can at least tell you the size. <sighs> okay. Oh, and I showed you, I picked up a little dog and I didn't introduce you. I'm so sorry. I feel like I may have introduced her before, but this is, <laughs> hello. This is Rowan. She's a little sweetheart. My, uh, my folks are on vacation. Where are they? They're in, they're going to all over the place. They're going to Portugal and, um, Africa. I think they just left Africa and they're going back to Portugal. Maybe. I think so. But I've got little Rowan, my mom's dog. Hi, she's a little Shih Tzu. Hi. And she's just a little snuggle muffin. She usually doesn't let me love on her when my mom is here. So this has just been like our bonding time. And I brush her every day and she just loves it. Huh? Do you wanna say hi and I'll put you down? Say hi, Ro. Say hello. She usually has her hair up in a little bow with like a little top knot, but I've just been letting her be wild and free. Okay. She's not fighting me. This is just what she does. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. She's right here. Okay, all right. Good girl. Okay, let me tell you uh, the size of this pot. I'm so blind. Oh my goodness. Eleven point seven five inches wide for that one. I'm assuming it's the same for this one. Yep, 11.75 inches. So just about 12 inch pots. I mean, those two were 60 bucks, 60 bucks each for free. I mean, come on, what more could you ask for? So I, um, I love it. I love finding free pots. And this is not the first time that I have scored free pots. Like what kind of ground scores are these? Like top notch, top tier. So I wanna talk about some other ways that y'all can look for free plants. Obviously, if you have dogs, if you are a walker, which who's not a walker? I mean, hello. But if you're out for a walk in the neighborhood, especially this time of year when people are starting to just like kind of get ready for spring and summer and get their planting ready, maybe they're over the pots that they had for the last couple seasons and they want to upgrade to some different pots. Well, good for them. And also great for you because that means there are some potential scores out there. So just keep your eyes peeled when you're out for walks. I spotted these. I wish I would have taken a photo of like how I found them because they were very obviously out for free. They weren't like directly in front of somebody's house, which sometimes people that is like where people would put things, they'll put them like out on the sidewalk or like even out in the street in front of the sidewalk just to like really show that those are free. Um, sometimes people put like a free sign next to things as well, which we always appreciate. So we're not like feeling like, am I stealing, am I stealing your property? I don't mean to. It looks like it's here for free. So I'm gonna take it. Or maybe you'll like walk by it a couple times over a couple of days. And if it's still there, it's, it's probably, it's probably just out there for free for people to take. And then you can snag them. But yeah, just be on the lookout when you're on your walks, when you're driving around in your neighborhood and stuff. Just keep your eyes peeled. You're probably going to see some random things, maybe some pieces of furniture this time of year, maybe some pots. So be on the lookout. But other places I've found pots, maybe not necessarily 
as cute of pots. Now, with that being said, there were more pots sitting on the side of the road and not just these ones. They had some other um, ceramic pots. They had some terracotta pots and they had some nursery pots as well, but I just wasn't digging any of the other ones. So I took what I wanted, left the rest for someone else to come along and grab, which they did. I went by that same spot um, the next day and actually like later that day and the rest of the pots were gone. So someone else had like come by and scored them. And yeah, so just like be on the lookout. But another way that you can find free pots um, or maybe cheap, cheap to free, I'll, we'll call them cheap to free, but mostly free is checking out your local big box stores and your local nurseries. Um, I know I personally have a nursery. I think it's like, um, I want to say it's just like a landscaping type nursery and like a wholesale nursery that I drive by very frequently. And they always have just like a huge stack of pots, like facing the road with a giant sign that says free pots. And you can just come grab whatever you want and haul them out. And they're just all different sizes of nursery pots. And they're like the good ones. They're the thick ones. You know what I'm saying? So that's a great way to just be on the lookout for free pots is just checking your local nurseries or you can even ask your local nurseries to say, hey, do y'all have any free pots? Any pots that you're just like getting rid of that I could take off your hands? One less trip to, you know, wherever you take them to get rid of them. <laughs> I'll take them for you. Um, and they'll usually be super, super kind about it. I don't think I've ever had any sort of attitude or any sort of weirdness from anyone for asking for nursery pots for free because they're constantly up planting and doing different things with their plants and getting rid of the pots that they're in, putting them in different pots. So they always have something. Even if it's not that day, that second for you, they probably are going to have something for you at some point. So definitely check your local nurseries, but that goes the same for big box stores. I know personally at like, this is not just one, but at multiple different Home Depots and Lowe's that I've been to, they have a section usually outside and usually by like one of the outdoor um, entrances or exits of the nursery section. They will have like a shelf usually of nursery pots um, and they'll be like the nice ones that have like the multiple holders but then they'll also have just the free pots for you there that you can just take on your way out and they're just um, they're just the nursery pots I will say big box stores tend to usually have like the more flimsy nursery pots but whatever it's a nursery pot it's usually going into another pot like these right so you're not going to necessarily see them but they're so useful so Definitely check there, but another thing that we're not even thinking of is online. The onlines, the World Wide Web, okay? Check on there because there's always going to be stuff. So my personal favorite places to go to look for cheap to free pots online is to go to Facebook Marketplace um, or just Facebook groups. Really, the groups are where it's at. I know there's a lot of hubbub about Facebook groups. Sometimes they come with a lot of drama that we don't want, but that's not what we're looking for, okay? We're looking for free pots. We're looking for cheap to free pots. So there's a few different ways that you could go about this. You can either, um, on a group that you're joined, obviously you need to join the groups first. So any of like your local big box store groups, any of your local buy, sell, trade groups, join those. You're not gonna regret it. Maybe you will, maybe you will because you're gonna find a lot of stuff, but you're probably not gonna regret it. Um, join those groups and then you can either post yourself and do like an in search of ISO. If you've seen those posts that start with ISO, that means in search of, they are looking for something that you may have. So <laughs> I'm getting all, all hot and bothered here. I've had a lot of coffee today and I'm feeling it. So bear with me here, but you can post an ISO post, an in search of post on any of those Facebook groups and just say, hey, I am looking for any cheap to free pots, nursery pots, ceramic pots, be specific about what you're looking for. And just say, you know, thanks in advance if you have anything that I'm looking for and people will comment on your post and they'll probably put pictures and say, hey, I've got this, I'm here. Um, this is how much it costs or it's free. Just pick it up, whatever. Um, I do suggest if you are going to do um, an in search of post that you give like the general area that you live in so that people know, you know what I mean? So that they're not being like, hey, I'm five hours away and I have a free pot for you. Obviously, you're probably not going to be into that. Um, so make sure you put like the kind of general area that you are in or where you're going to be looking. Um, and that will really, really help you to 
find something and I'm sure you're going to find something. People are so generous and so kind. And even if it's not a free pot, it might be a very reasonably priced pot and you can probably find some really good stuff on there. So go ahead and post on there. And that's probably going to be a way for you to find some new planty friends as well. So just a good resource to have. Um, and then other than making a post yourself, scroll through those suckers. There's always going to be um, people posting things for sale, whether they're doing, um, you know, a trading post or just a I'm selling this kind of post. And usually within those they will have within the comments of their own posts, they will comment all the different items that they have either for sale or just to give away. Um, and I personally have found some really good scores in posts like that where they are just giving stuff away. They need to make room within their house, they're moving, whatever it may be, and they need to get rid of their crap. Well, <laughs> hi, I'd like your crap, please, thanks. I'll go pick it up, easy, free, just cost me the gas to get there. So definitely check on those Facebook groups. And then of course, like I said earlier, Facebook Marketplace. Great resource, great resource. There's not just stuff to buy on there. People can put free items as well. So just do a quick little search for pots. Be specific if you want on there too, if it's like ceramic pots or terracotta pots or whatever you're looking for, search in there. And then you can also, I'm pretty sure you can at least. Yes, on Facebook Marketplace, you can post an alert for yourself. So if you're looking for ceramic pots, ceramic planters, you can save that within Facebook Marketplace and um, it'll alert you when there's like new postings for what you are looking for. Super, super useful. It's kind of like a Google alert, but for Facebook Marketplace. I love it. They're making it easy for us. And as weather is getting nicer and nicer, garage sales will be starting. <laughs> I am a garage sale lover. I, oh my God, I can't, I can't get enough of them. No matter what you're looking for. Um, I used to sell on eBay, had a business that I ran for years. Um, and garage sales were like just the best, the best way to source products. And I would always find stuff for myself as well. So I have found not only pots for cheap to free at uh, garage sales, I also found plants for cheap to free. Yes, I have found free plants at garage sales and they were like really nice plants. Like, you know, not like crazy rare, but like really nice, healthy plants, um, but also beautiful pots to go along with it. So definitely start garage sailing once the weather gets nice or if it's already nice for you where you are and you're already starting to see signs for garage sales, hit them up. It's such, such an easy, fun place to find pots. And again, you're gonna like meet your neighbors, meet people that are just like around in your neighborhood. And it's just a really fun way to socialize. But also, if you don't really like socializing and you get some social anxiety, like your girl, definitely guilty of that, you don't have to be super social. You can just have, an head, have a headphone in when you're walking around and shit, you could pretend to be on the phone if you want to and just kind of do a quick little mosey around, give them a little wave, hi. And you know, if you don't see anything, just give a quick thanks, have a good day as you walk away. Easy peasy, but fairly stress-free as well. And such a fun way to get out there and just like spend an early morning on a Saturday or a Sunday or even a Friday and go garage sailing, see what you can find. It's seriously so fun. And not only do you get to like find cool scores, but you can also like, sometimes see into people's houses like if they're if they have like nice front windows and they're plant people you can tell and that is a great conversation starter just to like ask what kind of plants they have or how long they've been collecting plants I've had a few of those conversations out garage sailing and it's so fun it's so cool to just like meet different people that are so into plants like yourself and see what they get to grow I like went into someone's house, maybe don't recommend this, but I had my then boyfriend with me at the time. So I felt safe enough. And um, I like went into this person's house and they showed me all of their plants. And I got so many like cool stories to go along with their plants. And it was just really special and fun. And just so cool to see how other people think of their plants and like what the plants do for them. And it's just so cool. So highly, highly recommend go garage sailing this summer do it. You won't regret it. You might find some freaking sweet scores too. Like I have found really nice sandals that I wore for years and years and years. Probably shouldn't have for so long, but I did. But anyway, I'm getting way off track. So go garage sailing, find cool stuff. Don't mind scratchy sounds off in the corner. <laughs> Rowan's scratching at a chair. I think she's trying to nest or something. Honey, it's not going anywhere. There you go.
she just plopped. Okay, I guess that's it. That's pretty much everything. That's Those are the best ways I know of personally to search for free pots out in the wild um, and usually fairly successfully and without feeling like you're going into a store and being like, hey, can I have that for free? Don't do that. Don't do that. That's not going to work. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions down below of other ways to find cheap to free pots or even cheap to free plants. I mean, I won't say no. So let us know down in the comments what experiences you have had finding free pots out in the wild, or if you've like never found free pots, do you think that you could in your area? Is this an area specific thing to me, which I'm telling you right now it's not because I've lived in multiple different areas and this has happened in all of those areas. So let me know your experiences down below in the comments. I can't wait to hear from you and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and if you're here for this long, drop like a fun emoji in, or something down in the comments and also leave me some sort of question for the next video that I shoot. I will be doing a repot for the next video and I want to have like some fun topics or answer any questions that you guys may have. So definitely drop them in the comments or shoot me a DM on Instagram at Plant Therapy. Okay guys, I'll see you later.